Fighting out of the red corner. Selchuk, Ekar. From Turkey, participant at the 2012 London Olympics. Silver medal winner at the 2012 AIBA European Olympic Qualification Tournament. The winner of the first round of the 2011 World Series of Boxing season. Mykola Butsenko from the Ukraine. Fighting out of the blue corner. Ukrainian national champion and a former national youth champion. Our referee, Athmen Lazizi of Algeria. So the first of our bantam weight, 56 kilograms. Turkey versus the Ukraine. Selchuk Ekar fighting out of the red corner. Mykola Butsenko from the blue. The Ukrainian South Pole Guard. Causing a few problems for Selchuk Ekar. Turk finding it difficult to just get in. Got the range right now, though. Butsenko took a silver medal at the European Championships in Minsk. out narrowly in the final to John Joseph Nevin of Ireland. A competitor in the World Series of Boxing seasons. Senko comes to this with a lot of experience. Turk trying to pressurize now. Walked into a good right hand. So Selchuk Ekar starting to test Butsenko. And with just half a minute left now in this first of our quarterfinals in the men's bantamweight. This has very much been a game of let's look and see. Both fighters testing each other's strengths and weaknesses. A good matchup. Sweet left from Selchuk. Eckhart towards the end of the round there and on the bell. score in favour of the Turk at 
two of the second of our men's first of our men's Bantam quarterfinals. Selchuk Eckhart fighting out of the red corner. Kola Butsenko fighting out of the blue. Eckhart from Turkey, Butsenko from the Ukraine. First round, majority decision in favor of the Turk. So the Ukrainian with it all to do. So rapid left-right combinations from the Ukrainian. It's just upsetting the timing of a cut. And again, finding it very effective. So Butsenko coming in off the back of that jab and the left right combination and it's off footing Selchuk Eckhart So a point deduction for a clash of heads. The referee has advised the judges. And again, the Turk being asked to keep his head up. Difficult because part of his strategy is to get under the guard of the Ukrainian and to slip those punches, he's got to go down and under. Close of the round. A much tougher three minutes for both fighters. Well, this time the judges score in favor of Butsenko at 10 9. So one round apiece. And a chance to look at the action in that second round which was much grittier both fighters dug in deep and uh, quite a bit more power behind those shots a lot of them were off target Nicola Butsenko beat Joseph Ham of Scotland and uh, Don Chai Tati of Thailand in the prelims to get here Round three, third and final round in this, the first of our men's bantamweight quarterfinal bouts. In today's afternoon session, here at Ring B, the Boloan Sholak Palace of Sports, Al Nati, Kazakhstan. So again, all to play for in this third and final round. From Turkey in the red corner, Selçuk Ekar. From the Ukraine in the blue, Nikola Butsenko.
There has been a point deduction in the second round against Selchuk Eckhart for keeping his head low. But uh, he's been sent out to a neutral corner for the doctor to have a look at. And a slight injury to the right eye. Doctor says he's fine to continue, and it would be a shame to go out of the competition at this stage. But uh, that's Boyd, Nikola Budsenko. And uh, a little bit more spark in his work here. He's on his toes, the Ukrainian. And the southpaw stance has caused problems for Eka. He's really found it hard to get in close, judge the distance right, and he's taking shots just like that, that right hand. Going over the top and then the left coming through. And the Ukrainian spoiling him. With just over half a minute left. Both fighters, in order to get a win, and proceed, need this round. And, um, Turkish fighter just complaining a little bit about the hugging. And again, right left combination. from Butsenko, just keeping the Turk out. And that's the end of the third round. Well, with one apiece, the official verdict is what we're waiting for. But a chance to revisit the action where you can see Selçuk Ekar, the Turk, just slightly off point with those shots. A lot more power, but it left him exposed. Some damage just under the left eye of the Turk. Judges are found in favour of Butsenko. Two judges find in favour at 10-9.